Ho'oponopono, the ancient Hawaiian healing practice, can absolutely help you to release excess weight, enjoy food freedom, and step into the, your life with more confidence and esteem. Ho'oponopono is an amazing practice that many people are using these days to heal all kinds of things. And if you've never heard of Ho'oponopono before, I'm going to share a link in the thread below with another video that I recently made to give you more details about what Ho'oponopono is. Hi, I'm Maria Lapuma, the creator of the Body Confidence Solution, where I help health conscious women release excess weight, enjoy food freedom, and step into their lives with more confidence and esteem. And Ho'oponopono is one of the practices that I use, have used and continue to use in my own relationship to have more peace with my body, my weight, um, my confidence and esteem, and in other areas of my life as well. I also teach this to my students and clients. I've taken a number of trainings in Ho'oponopono and have even given a course in it. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you specifically how you can use this practice so that you can make peace with your weight, bring more ease so that you can naturally release excess weight, enjoy more food freedom, being less afraid of certain foods, and of course, learn to accept and love your body more fully, which will enable you to have more body confidence and self-esteem. So Ho'oponopono means to make right. Pono means to make right. And it's a practice that has been being used, it was used many, many years ago. Morna Simeona, who was a practitioner of Ho'oponopono from her lineage, a number of years ago came up with something called the updated version of Ho'oponopono, which meant not only to make peace in the village, in the community, but how a person could make peace within themselves. Because when we're not coming from a place of peace, we're coming from disunity, disharmony. And basically, according to Ho'oponopono, when we have problems in our life, we are repeating patterns and data and memories that no longer serve us. So we're not coming from our divine self. We're just reenacting the thought patterns, the belief patterns that we were given, maybe through our lineage and also the, the thought patterns that we cultivated, particularly in our developmental years. You may know that in the first seven years of our life, we are in that brain state where we take in so much and we learn um, about ourself, we form beliefs about ourself, we form beliefs about the world, we form beliefs about um, other people as well. And so these beliefs are really memories and data that keeps getting played out. So we come into our adult life and those beliefs that get formed in our formative years just keep getting played out. So for instance, if circumstances of your life led you to believe that there was something wrong with you or even something wrong with your body, you start to play that out as an adult. And maybe that's where you start to have problems with food or um, feeling like you want to reject your body because the data is telling you that there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with your body. So applying Ho'oponopono to any of those issues can be very, very effective in clearing the data, erasing the memories so that you can come from inspiration and come from your highest self. So your highest self, your best self, has a body that is naturally healthy, that is able to metabolize food with efficiency, that um, wants to be vital and energetic, and also releases excess weight with ease. The reason we have problems with those 
areas are, again, because they're memories, they're data, and maybe they're things that were acquired in your household, or maybe they are things that got acquired from reading diet books or being on different diets. So the way that I apply this and the way I teach it is, first you have to accept 100% responsibility and acceptance of all of the circumstances in your life, how you're showing up, how your body is showing up. When we blame others or our circumstances, we disempower ourselves. So the point of power is to take 100% responsibility for everything that's showing up. It's not about guilt, it's not about beating yourself up. It's just that if you're unhappy with your weight or you're struggling with food, diet, maybe even binge eating or emotional eating or stress eating, you want to first find a place of acceptance and embracing it. And using the four part mantra of Ho'oponopono, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you, can be applied to however you're showing up. Maybe I'm sorry for all of this frustration I'm having with my body and weight. So you start where you're at. Whatever your challenge is right now, maybe you want to release excess weight, for instance. What I would recommend is you write down all of the frustration, all of the angst, all of the problems that you're having with with your weight. Maybe you are rejecting your body. Maybe you're feeling angry at yourself. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe you're feeling stressed. So stress is a huge factor in keeping weight on us because first of all, stress is the reason we stress eat to feel better about, to calm ourselves down. But stress also produces something called cortisol and cortisol will help, will keep weight on or make us gain weight even without increasing our calories. So when you can find peace, and that's what Ho'oponopono is, a practice of coming to a place of peace, then you are not producing cortisol, you can get clarity about how to solve your problems, and that can certainly be applied to your problems and challenges when it comes to food, weight, and body image even obsessive thinking. Many women are afraid of food because we've been so brainwashed into thinking that if we eat certain things that we can't control them or the f- eating too much food, of course, is going to make us fat. Some of us believe that if we eat, eat, you know, there's been practices with people that they say they look at food and it makes them gain weight. Now that's a belief, that's data, that's a memory. It's not true because if it were true, it'd be true for everybody. So we want to clear up the illusions, the projections, so that we can come from a place of peace and you can find your path to health and vitality. So I would recommend that, again, that you write down all of your struggles. Say you're struggling with your weight and you want to lose excess weight. The fears, the anger, the frustration, the overwhelm, all of those thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are the data. Those are the memories that you want to erase. And so when you do the mantra, you're saying, I'm sorry for whatever's in me that created this memory, created this pattern, created this angst, and you don't have to analyze it. You don't have to figure out where it came from. You just want to embrace it and accept it. It's showing up. The memories are stored in the subconscious, and they're showing up in, the, in your conscious awareness. So with your conscious mind, you initiate the practice of Ho'oponopono. So it's really clearing the data that's residing in your subconscious. And when you clear the data that's residing in the subconscious, then you can be more in alignment with your higher, your, your super conscious self, your divine self. So I also incorporate EFT tapping to help this process move along. And I found that it helps to clear up the data more quickly because EFT tapping can enable you to get more present. It can release any anxiety and stress that's associated with what you want to address much quicker. 
And if you're new to EFT tapping or have never heard about it, I also will put a link in the thread below with a video that will tell you more about it. Today's purposes, I'm going to explain a little bit more about how this process works, and then I'm going to guide you in a meditation using EFT tapping and applying Ho'oponopono so that you can start to clear up some of the data, some of the memories that are not serving you in, in enabling you to reach your fitness goal, your health and fitness goals. So again, you're writing down all the struggles that you're having. You Then the four pot mantra is, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. I like to bring my hands to my heart and I tune into the challenge, the problem, the thoughts and the feelings. Maybe you think about a time when you had trouble fitting into your jeans and you were upset with yourself or angry about yourself, or maybe you had a binge and you are feeling disappointed in yourself. However you're showing up, whatever memory comes up for you right now in this moment, that's exactly what we can work on because that's what's bringing discomfort for you. That's what's bringing um, agitation and that might even be stressing you out. So you want to make peace with that. And so what we, when we say thank you, we're saying thank you for the opportunity to clear this up so that we can come from a place of peace and then take actions from that place of peace rather than trying to push harder and try harder, go on a stricter diet, beat ourselves up more. So it's a practice of forgiveness a practice of acceptance and a practice of transformation or transmutation that when we are asking divinity to help us to erase the memories and the data then we're more in alignment with our higher truer self so once again bring your hands to your heart close your eyes and tune into an issue around your weight that you might be struggling with or maybe you're preoccupied with food or maybe you're worried that you're going to gain weight. Whatever it is for you, call it to mind. Notice the thoughts and feelings and emotions that come up for you. Take a deep breath in and let it go. You might feel those thoughts, feelings, and emotions in your body. And if you feel it in your body, take another deep breath in. Let it go. Remember that that's energy and energy wants to flow. And the thought forms show up as energy in our body. By releasing this energy that is not serving us, we can be more in alignment with higher vibration energy that will enable us to be more, take the actions and be more in alignment with our highest self. So you're just going to think about it and then you're going to say, I'm sorry for whatever is in me that created these thoughts, these feelings, this problem, please forgive me. And then you're going to say, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to release this and let it go. And I love you. You're talking to the divinity within you, the divinity without of you. You are asking divinity to enable you to let go of this data, to release the data so that you can be free. And tap the top of the head. Take a deep breath in, let it go. I'm sorry for whatever's in me that created this data that's not serving me, that's showing up as frustration with my body, overwhelm with dieting and anything else that comes up for you and then tapping on the third eye on the forehead take a deep breath in and let it go please forgive me and anyone else that contributed to this problem on the eyebrow thank you thank you for the opportunity to clear this up and let it go. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. 
and I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And as you're tapping, close your eyes and call to mind the feelings, the thoughts. Maybe you have a picture of yourself the last time you tried on your jeans and they didn't fit. Or maybe you felt discouraged or disgusted with yourself after you overate at a meal or snacked too much. And just notice the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions that come up for you. It's just data. It's not coming from your divine self. Maybe you have a long history of this, so you don't have to analyze where it came from. Maybe there's guilt and shame around this for you. Whatever the feelings are, that's data, those are memories. That's what we want to ask divinity to erase. So I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. And as you're tapping and breathing and recalling the thoughts and feelings and emotions, you want to release expectations. And trust that as you continue to do this, you're going to come from a place of peacefulness. That's the purpose of Ho'oponopono, to bring you to a place of peace. And when you're at that place of peace, that's where your problem will be solved. Either you need to take an action, coming from a place of inspiration, or you need to not take an action. Maybe it's just keep cleaning the data. There might be lots of thoughts, feelings, and emotions that come up for you. As you're tapping, the tapping is gonna calm down the brain, calm down the body, and enable the data to be transmuted much quicker. So again, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. And just breathing and tapping and tuning in to the energy in your body, noticing the feelings that are flowing. And ultimately we want to be at peace. So in addition to tapping with the four part mantra, I like to tune into what it would feel like to actually be at peace with this. What would that look like and feel like to be at peace with this? So I'm going to ask you now to tune into something that reminds you of peace. Maybe it's an experience you had. Maybe you were out in nature. Maybe there's a time in your life where you felt at ease and at peace. So tuning into that. The more you can feel it, the more you can align with it, the more you can embody peace. And again, when you're at peace, you're coming from your divine self, your higher self, which is unconditional love and acceptance of every aspect of you compassion for your challenges and knowing that you are worthy and deserving of having these memories and data erased so that you could be at peace with your body, at peace with your waist, at peace with food, and ultimately find more love and acceptance for your body and yourself. To 
tuning into that feeling of peace. And then once again, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And then I often like to just take those last two parts of the mantra. Thank you. And I love you. Thank you for the opportunity to heal this. Thank you that it's showing up today because it wants to be healed. It wants to be transmuted. Thank you for the awareness. And I love you. Thank you. And I love you. And sometimes you're not feeling thankful for the struggle. Oftentimes, sometimes you're not feeling the love. But as you're tapping and tuning into it and saying those words, the vibration of the words are going to start to help you to feel it more. So sometimes we're just putting in the form, we're saying the words, words have a vibration, and then tuning into peace and what that might look like and feel like will help you to come to more peace. You'll gain insight around this and maybe know the next step. Maybe there's a, somebody that you need to reach out to to get more support around this, or maybe it's just simply coming to peace within yourself. No expectations, trusting the process, being curious about this, and it may not get cleaned up right away, if you're anything like me, I've had years of lots of data in regards to food, weight, and body image. And so it took time and it continues. Sometimes it even creeps up. Yesterday I felt a little bit preoccupied with worrying that I was eating too much and going to gain weight. And so it became a little obsessive. And I just started to do the mantra, I'm sorry for whatever's in me that created this obsessive thinking. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And just keep the tapping and the breathing going. And then Take a deep breath in and let it go. Close your eyes and think of peace. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a breath in, let it go. And notice how you're feeling in your body. You can look at the, the words that you wrote down, maybe the discomfort or the anxiety or the stress that you have around a specific issue around your weight and notice if there's more peace there. Again, you're releasing expectations because this might have brought up other thoughts, feelings, and memories. It might have even brought up childhood memories. That's the data. That's what you want to erase. So being consistent with the practice and releasing expectations is key to this. If you are unsure about it, I'm encouraging you to give it a try. When I first learned about Ho'oponopono, I loved the concept of it and I thought it was great, but I was really sort of not thinking, can that really work? And I started to try it on many things and to release expectations. And on, uh, incredibly, I felt a shift and things started to clear up. So I'd love to hear from you. Are you using this practice in your life? Have you ever used it in regards to your weight, food, body image? Uh, have you, did you practice with me today? And what are you going to do to start to bring this into your life more fully so that you can be at peace? I'd love to hear from you. If you need some support around this, um, I have a link below. You can hop in, hop on and, and have a cons free consultation with me. Um, I do a lot of work with helping women find food freedom, release excess weight if that's what they want to do, and enjoy more body and self-confidence. So I'd love to help you and serve you in any way that's needed. 
Please um, like this video if you felt it was effective and helpful and share it if you know anybody that could use this information and subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. Again, I want to hear from you. What are you going to do after watching this video that can help you to, to support yourself as you aspire to reach your health and fitness goals? Thank you for watching and I look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, keep taking good care of yourself and peace be with you. Bye now.